Oh, yeah, um, hey there, what's up everyone, um, wait, yeah, um, well, this is kind of like a channel update, so, if you're wondering what this video is about, it's, well, okay, I'm gonna be straightforward, um, it's, well, Basically, a channel update slash New Year's resolution thing I'm sort of doing. So, anyway, uh, let's just, like, through it. Well, basically, if you're interested and you want to pause this, you can check out some of the videos I did. Well, it is... December 23, uh, well, at the time that I'm recording this, but, um, well, basically, I, I wanted to make this video to, like, let you all know, um, if, if you're interested, that I'm kind of trying to, like, do some stuff for n New Year. Well, uh, uh, I'm kind of like just relaxing, spending time with videos. I mean, family and watching Christmas specials. You know, those. They're fun. And, well, um, I'm currently working on another video right now uh hang on let me show you guys see well that's not the full title of the video and well it's kind of still loading right now so what else is there oh uh yeah and i'm all and well, as you can see the the listing of this this video's title is right here in this list <laughs> trying to get everything ready for the new year <laughs> and uh i'm also going to like uh let you guys know about some stuff i'm going to be trying to do for the new year, okay, uh, well, um, uh, okay, so, um, uh, I'm going to, like, let you guys know, um, what I've been up to, like, in college, well, um, okay, when, hold on, let me check something, and, Oh, here it is. Well, when I... Okay, my first round of college classes started in, like, August 22. Yeah, that was my first official day in college. Yeah, for the first semester. And, uh, my, uh, my last round of classes for the semester was in December... 14th, which was, well, last week, so that's kind of coming around, but, uh, well, uh, when I started off, um, uh, let's start off with one of my classes, my first class was, well, it was, um, it was graphic design, and, uh, I was able to, like, go, like, walk right into, like, the campus in the third building where all the artistic classes are being held in there. And then I, like, walked into the class and, um, I kind of, like, had to, like, pick a seat and, well, basically, you don't have to. You could just swap seats whenever you like. I kind of discovered that because... 
I didn't end up swapping seats several times. But anyway, I kind of learned that, um, uh, well, my first project was like, kind of like black and white optical illusion project thing. And well, mine was, uh, I, <laughs> I kind of like messed up. I thought it was going to be in color and, uh, I ended up finding out at the last second that it was uh, supposed to be in black and white, but I was able to change it in time to hand it in. Well, it was kind of digital, so yeah, like post it. Oh, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, well. Uh, for college, uh, I had to like my one one of my uh, college teachers decided to like uh, d tell me to like download this app. Like it's called Canvas Students. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, here it is, right here. Hang on, let me try. Like, okay, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, so that's interesting. <laughs> Not so good for the phone storage. And uh, anyway, moving on. Also, um, uh, for like uh, the class, I also had to like um, like use LinkedIn to like, so I could study on stuff that was related to the assignment project thing yeah so like yeah you you kind of like have to use linkedin learning uh yeah linkedin learning is well kind of like for college students and what helps is that you don't need an account to sign up uh i kind of just like need like my uh, library card which i had to sign up for for to like sign into linkedin learning uh yeah and uh just in case for any of you who don't believe me um hang on do you need a library card to sign into linkedin learning according to linkedin after you've activated your patron account with your existing library card number and pin you'll be able to access your learning account and history, even if you don't have the physical card. Oh, and uh, another thing. Do you need a LinkedIn account to have access to LinkedIn Learning? According to Human Resources, University of Oregon, no, you do not need to have a LinkedIn profile to activate your LinkedIn Learning account. If you have a profile, you have the option to choose whether or not to connect it to your learning account. <laughs> so, yeah, basically that. And, um, I also kind of did some research about LinkedIn Learning about, uh, well, I'll get into that later, but, uh, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah, college classes. So, yeah, what... What was most important for me to do LinkedIn viewing assignments is that, like, I had to, like, watch videos to, like, enter knowledge about the the topics about the project. Yeah, basically that. And, yeah, and you also have to answer, like, plenty of quizzes that are connected to the project. So, basically, um, so I did manage to do that. And, well, I'll tell you, like, uh, my final scoring for, like, uh, the, the classes. But, uh, well, also, um, well, okay, uh, I did manage to, like, do all the projects, all from, like, Project 1 to, like, Project 7. Good. Like, I did good for my projects. But, uh, okay, the, the LinkedIn viewing assignments, I did those well, but the thing I kept having trouble with 
was like the description. What you, what that means is basically like you have to like give a detailed summary of your project and what it's about and what was your main idea for it and uh, like how you were doing with it and and you also have to like comment on other students projects and you have to like give a, a like a crap ton of words in order to do it so yeah I had lots of trouble with that and but uh, I did manage to do that and overall I did have a good time in graphic design class and so yeah and my professor was good he was he was great yeah, both of my professors were great and helpful when I needed it. and I'm going to get to the embarrassing part right now my second class was Photoshop and I'm going to be straight with you guys about this I had the absolute worst time with Photoshop class and it was bad like really bad and the main reason why is because well uh I have a crappy memory like a really crappy memory so I, I kept being focused on graphic design so much that I ended up losing track of all the projects for, like, Photoshop class, and, well, uh, it, it wasn't well, but I did, I did, like, um, like, high-fived some of my classmates in Photoshop class, but, and we did have to do, like, uh, Zoom chats for the classroom, and... Also, uh, I, uh, I had to do some online tests, and out of some of the projects, I ended up only releasing, like, two for Photoshop class at most, maybe. I think, I can't remember, obviously, crappy memory. Yeah, that's... And this is the final embarrassing part about that I ended up getting my final grade was like for like graphic design class I ended up getting a I ended up getting a C which is not so bad it was like in the 70s for 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 graphic design class. Yay. Let's see. That's not so bad. But however for Photoshop I I ended up doing I got like close to a D like close to a D. It, it was like in the twenties. Yeah, it was so bad. So, obviously, for my first part of my New Year's resolution is I'm going to try to, like, do better in college classes because I want to, like, focus more. Like, I was the one that wanted this. I asked for this. I was the one wanted to do it and I kind of screwed up but I'm going to try to correct that and uh, yeah so try to do better for like the new semester this year hope you all wish me luck okay now uh now for uh the sec Second part of my New Year's resolution is, um, I'm going to, like, try, like, do exercise for the New Year. I know you're, like, uh, uh, boo, 
Some guys do it, then they quit the next day. Well, not me. And what's going to help me with that is every Friday, I'm going to like post an image of me doing martial arts. Yeah, that's good. And, uh, hang on. Okay, so the two main martial arts that I'm going to, like, try to learn for the next year, um, okay, they're going to be, like, Arnes, aka Eskrima, and also Karate. Well, let me, uh, let me backtrack you with, with some history, um, ever since I was a little kid, um, I've always liked karate, I liked it. I've seen Spongebob do it. I, I've watched Kung Fu Panda movies plenty of times. I've watched the show. And I've watched other animated characters do it. And also I've seen it in plenty of movies. Obviously the Karate Kid and the other Karate Kid and the, the black Kung Fu Karate Kid. Yeah, and even Cobra Kai. <laughs> Maybe you guys watch that. And, uh, as for Arnest, um, well, uh, I kind of, kind of, like, got into it because of, well, one of my favorite superheroes. And, uh, check out this playlist that I found. <laughs> That's fun. I'll link it in the description. So, basically, um, yeah. I learned, I, I mean, I, I, I kind of found out about Arnt uh, Eskrima because of one of my favorite superheroes, Nightwing. And, um, uh, if you want to, uh, I'll also link some other videos for, like, like how to fight like Nightwing. Um, basically, the main ones are going to be about, like, from... Joey B slash three, the modern ninja. Also, an extra one from this guy, Kali Center. Oh, and another cool thing about LinkedIn Learning is that you can also like look up stuff about martial arts. So yeah, that's great to know. And if any of you think I'm lying, take a nice hot look for yourselves. So, yeah. <laughs> I have a LinkedIn learning account, so hang on and give me a minute while I check it out. Okay, so I wasn't able to find, like, a, a complete video about martial arts by... I did manage to, uh, dig up something. Okay, I was able to find, like, a video, I mean, like, a, an entire class of videos, something about martial arts. Not karate, though. So, um, I think, uh, I think, uh, I'm gonna have to learn for a while. But basically, um... Why I wanted to do it is because, um, well, it's because just for, like, exercise and wanting to, like, get fit and feel good about myself, uh, about how my body would look, and, and if it changed, well, then that would be good, <clears throat> but if it does a, a bit slowly, because I know it will, that's okay, and also, any of you interested in learning about stuff, you could try out LinkedIn Learning, at hashtag not sponsored. Well, it's, it's kind of like, uh, I, okay, it's basically like, uh, Skillshare. Well, we all know that. It's that online place about learning new stuff and getting interested. So, yeah, it's basically kind of like similar, but... It, it's completely free as long as you have a library card. So, yeah. Try out LinkedIn Learning if you're interested. Okay, um, like, uh, 
the third part of my New Year's resolution list is like check out new websites like um like Vimeo or Newgrounds or other stuff if that's possible. Yeah, if you don't know what those are, I'll link those in the description as well. As long as 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 also a list of other stuff that I'm going to be trying checking out. And also one of those stuff is like kind of like PayPal. <laughs> We all know that. So, uh, I think I'm kind of guessing about that. And, uh, okay, now for the fourth and final part of my list for New Year's resolutions, it's like, like, get interest, get, get back into, like, the groove of, watching the shows that I've missed out on. Well, uh, well, I'm at, I am kind of like doing, a, a, thinking about doing a video about two of those shows and all the, the titles right here. Hang on. All right. Yeah. Two shows I'm scared of, but want to see. So yeah, what that basically is, is, uh, is like, uh, these shows, um, uh, uh, well, okay, one of these shows I did kind of watch, like, like, way back, uh, like, a few years ago, yeah. And this other show I keep hearing about again and again and again and again and again. Like, uh, they both just have, like, really good art designs and character designs. And the colors look beautiful and the animation looks really nice. And the characters do seem like they'd be interesting. And the storylines are kind of deep-rooted and make you feel a lot for like when the characters are going through stuff and you want to see like a good ending for them like sort of they're not, they're not over yet they're, they're not over they're not ending yet so uh basically what the names of those shows are ruby and oshinoko yeah, I think I said that right, sort of. Yeah, basically, Ruby is about um, this group of four girls learning, going to monster fighting school to, like, be heroes and protect the people, all that. And um, what Oshinoko is, uh, uh, well, uh... I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave like a recap for it in the description because I'm not interested I'm not interested in spoiling it yet for you guys but but I also have seen another video about it, um, by another YouTube channel check that out in the description but basically um uh these shows as beautiful and amazing as they were they also kind of like scared me like they just go really deep and hard into oh, like some stuff some moments just like hit you hard in the chest and it kind of like feels sick in your stomach and you're not interested in going through that again but but uh but at the end of the day, it's, like, just a show. If you want to watch it, go ahead and watch it. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it then. But what really makes it decide, what whoever makes it the final decision should be you. You don't, like, need 
to like listen to other people to watch something. If you want to watch something good, go ahead and watch something good. If you want to watch something bad, go ahead and watch something bad. I've watched bad stuff, and I've been willing to defend those bad stuff. Yeah, I have watched them plenty of times. Overall, though, as much as those shows creep me out, I do like them. I like those shows, and I want to, like, Get back into them. I have been watching other YouTubers before, like, long ago, and, well, one YouTube video that I watched was, well, at the end of it, it basically had, like, a small message, like, to leave, like, on a deep thought, and that message was, if the best time to do your New Year's resolution is before this year is over. So, like, just get an early start on it. And, well, I'm kind of thinking about doing, a, like, an early start on one of my New Year's resolutions. Because, well, Ruby and Oshinoko aren't the only shows I want to watch. And there are also plenty of shows... Two of them I'm already in the process of, sort of. Well, one is Miraculous, the Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, and the other one is Frame Arms Girl. In fact, I'm sort of watching an anime recap about one of them. Check it out. See? On the screen. And just a few minutes ago, I was... Watching this, yeah, Miraculous World, and well, okay, I didn't watch the full thing, I kind of like got through halfway near the end of it, well, but just watching those few minutes at near the end, it kind of like got me back into the show, I want to watch it again. So, yeah, that feels great. Getting to, like, watch an old show that you really, really like. Even though it... It... It did kind of creep you out. It's just a show. And maybe you could, like, just watch it again to, like, get through it. If you're interested. Okay, now, for, uh, this part, um... I just wanted to say, um... If you're uh, one of the people who's been watching my videos since the very, very, very first one I uploaded, well, thank you. Or if you're just joining, uh, if you're just watching this video right now, let let me do a recap of my own. Basically, um, I started this YouTube channel kind of like for fun and just for like the heck of it and just like to show some of my art and well, me doing it. So, that was basically it. I just wanted to do that. And, well, I kind of just wanted to, like, be interested in stuff. And I did kind of, like, do plenty of great videos. And I'll leave the first one to uh, my first video in the description and also my current video at this time and well uh, as some of you may have known I rec uh, like a month ago I finally managed to wrap up my three-part Instagram follower special and well basically here's here they are kind of yeah, this one was just basically me drawing the number 100. That This one was just me drawing my Instagram avatar. And, well, this one was just drawing the profile picture of the 100th follower. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, those videos took a long time to make. And, well, uh, I, I kind of, like, really messed up on the third part 
and it was kind of a mess. I had lost the footage because I stored it on a school account that ended up getting terminated. I mean, like, like deleted because I was no longer going to the high school anymore. I'm in college now. So, I kind of screwed up on that part. And not only that, I couldn't bring myself to like, and I also lost the piece that I made the first one. And, well, I just kind of like did a crappy slideshow for the third video because just to get something out. And for that, I felt disappointed, like really disappointed. I ended up feeling like, like Jimmy from that second robot a chicken DC special, like, yeah, basically, in my head, I basically just went like, like, come on, seriously? This is how I'm ending, this is how I'm ending my first ever Instagram 100, hang on, hang on, let me try again. <laughs> basically, in the inside of my head, I basically went like, seriously, seriously, come on, seriously? This is how I'm ending my 100 Instagram follower special with a bullcrap slideshow of some of my followers and a few pictures? Really? Ugh. I I basically felt like crap for for like doing it that way, but I had no other choice, so basically that's what I ended up going with. So and just in case for, you know, like, punishing myself a little bit more, I'm going to embarrass the crap out of myself. Okay, um... Basically, this website, which I'll leave in the description below, this is where you go to, like, look up the main scores and viewer counts and uh, other stuff about other YouTubers. Yeah, this is my, this, this is the one that I found for me. And take a look. Yeah. A lot of stuff in a lot of years. Oh, and this is going to be really crap for me to to show. But uh, I kind of like I kind of started this channel. Well, this video is kind of one of them. Okay, this video is uh, kind of like, okay, this channel is like total grade C, <laughs> just like my college class, and this one, and like this one has views, and finally, this was my total subscriber peak. Yep, my total subscriber reach was basically, yeah, basically I had like 17,600 28 subscribers at one time and but now I'm clearly just down to 54 subscribers so I know this is going to sound a bit sappy to say but I'm planning on trying to get some of those subscribers back if possible maybe and I will do subscriber specials for those, like, starting with 100, then going to 500, 
then maybe going continue and continue and continue. So basically just that at the most part. So yeah, those are the list of my uh, New Year's resolutions. Basically, do better in college. Try to watch more shows that I really like to do. Learn martial arts. And try to visit more websites. So basically, yeah, that's my the stuff that I'm trying to like get in place for the new year. And also, basically, uh, I will leave like a link for my Instagram so you could watch all the clips that I show for Instagram if you're interested. This video is being recorded like on like on a Saturday, but it will but obviously it's out today. So um obviously I'm just going to finish it up by saying this. Uh basically uh, if you're watching this video now and well December 29th basically if well I hope you had a wonderful and happy merry christmas and well I hope you also have, like, a happy new year. And, well, um, I know I did. I, I had a great time with my family and other stuff. I'm just going to do this right now. Yep. Just checked it off already. And, well... Thank you guys for watching, and, well, to end off this video right here, here's a image of me doing a triple roundhouse.